good morning. I'm Dr. William Aaron Tucker, and I'm the orthopedist here at Valley Regional Medical Center. And they asked me to talk about total joints a little bit and kind of how to take care of them once they're through their acute phase. So I have some components here, and this is a, a primary total knee components. This is our femoral component, and it fits on the end of the thigh bone. And this is our tibial component, and it's in the lower half of the joint. And then this plastic insert snaps into the tibial component, and the thicknesses is how we balance the knee. And then the femoral component articulates or rubs on the plastic of the lower component, and that's what keeps your motion. Um, and then this is the little piece that we put behind the kneecap so that it will rub in the groove of the thigh bone. So all these pieces, when we implant them, we either uh, do what we call press fit, which is where we actually uh, have the uh, bone grow into the metal and all this kind of uh, textured area of the metal is ideal for bone to grow into it, or we will <coughs> glue it or cement it, and then, and then it's smooth. So those are the two ways that we attach uh, the metal to the bone. Uh, and that place where the bone attaches to the metal is called uh, the interface. And we need to try to protect that because as the bone grows in, that's a weak place where sometimes if we fall or injure ourselves, uh, the bone and the metal can come apart. And when that happens, then we have to redo uh, the joint replacement. Uh, so other things like running or jumping is very hard on uh, joint replacements, especially weight-bearing ones. When we say weight-bearing, we mean knees and hips and ankles. Um, and so we discourage people from running when they have uh, weight-bearing total joint replacements. Uh, to finish, this is a, a, a total hip. So this is the, the thigh bone or the femur side, and this gets wedged down in the marrow of the bone. Then this head that, that's on the end is how we uh, get length to balance. And then this piece, and it's, it's textured as well so the bone can grow into it, it goes in the cup side of the hip. And then the plastic uh, between the metal uh, is, is exactly uh, what they rub against. Um, otherwise, other uh, joint um, maintenance are staying in a home exercise program where you do a walking program or stretching program or strengthening will uh, definitely help your bones stay strong uh, growing into the metal. Um, and uh, good nutrition helps as well to make sure you have adequate calcium and adequate protein. Those are the two big factors in your diet that helps uh, your bone uh, stay well connected to the hardware of your joint replacements. One of the main reasons that we do joint replacements is because the joints themselves wear out, either from use just as we use them for seven or eight decades, or after we've had a, an injury to a joint, the damage accelerates the wearing out of the cartilage on the ends of the bones. Because it's actually the ends of the bones that we replace. We don't really replace a knee when we say a total knee replacement. Really what we're doing is we're just capping the ends of the bones with the hardware and then uh, allowing motion to still happen between uh, the metal and the plastic. In the old days, when there was so bad arthritis in a knee, they would do what's called a fusion. They would make the, the thigh bone and the lower leg bone grow together, and that would take the pain away. But the problem is that would take the motion away as well, so people had stiff legs. Uh, and you couldn't do both because you need a knee to bend so that you can sit down while the other leg went out straight. Um, so to be able to resurface or cap the bones with metal and plastic and still keep the motion but not have bone grinding on bone is what's really made total joints uh, a wonderful option for people that have real bad arthritis but still want to be active. Um, and right now we have uh, total knees and total hips that we do pretty straightforwardly and have been around a few years and are proven. And we have still, there's still somewhat uh, uh, experimental in the sense that they're uh, working on is a total ankle 
and a total elbow and a total wrist. Uh, total shoulders are also done, and those are more common now as well. Uh, those are non-weight bearing, uh, the shoulders and the elbows and the wrists, uh, and they're still uh, coming more in the future.